We have been following some breaking news for you all afternoon and into tonight. Two people dead after a single engine plane that sources say was flying out of Knoxville crashed down in Middle Tennessee. Investigators say the plane crashed into a hill in a remote part of Giles County about 11 o'clock this morning. Our sister station, Nashville, sent reporter Tori Gesner to the scene. She joins us now live, and I understand, Tori, that they have officially identified one of the people on board. They have, and while they have made that positive identification, officials are not releasing the victim's name just yet to give the family more time to let other family members know. Now, they say there were two people on board at the, at the time of the crash. Both appear to be adults and neither survived. The crash happened about a half a mile up from Diana Road in the woods. A woman and her son saw the plane go down and crash into a hill on their neighbor's property. They were the ones to call it into 911. They led first responders to the scene where they found the plane in so many pieces, they say it was hard to recognize what it was. Emergency personnel have been searching the woods all day to make sure there are no other victims. They face some challenges accessing the scene because of the remote area. We don't have a lot of this type of activity here in Giles County, um, so it's, um, it, it's, it's difficult. Um, from a fire rescue standpoint, all of our members are volunteers, so they have other professions that they... Um, <clears throat> that they work for their careers um, and it may or may not ever be exposed to something like this. Neighbors say first responders did get to the scene very quickly. It's not clear how long they'll be here on the scene or when this scene will be cleared up. The FAA is investigating. Reporting in Giles County, I'm Tori Gessner. Tori, thank you very much. And as she mentioned, a man and her son, or excuse me, a woman and her son saw that plane go down. Our sister station also spoke to that woman's husband who says they actually had to help first responders get to the scene where they found the aircraft was on fire. And again, the neighbors say it was in so many pieces, could barely recognize that it was actually a plane. You just thought maybe somebody was made it, but when you get back there and see it, you know, they don't make it, so you felt bad for that. But it, it tore it all to pieces. It was just can't even tell the plane. Yeah, we will, of course, be following this investigation. We'll bring you the latest tonight here at 11 o'clock.